Hola family! It is about that time. It's the second video in my signature style series and you guys have been asking how I make magic happen with my pieces. So rah rah sis boom bah. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I transform my look and protective style majority of the time with my custom Indian hair curly pieces. So I have a shorter one that I actually wore on the new Atlanta which now has gotten pretty beat up, but I still use it if I'm like running to the gym or just running around for errands and things like that. But then I have my longer lovely girlfriend here, who is the one that you'll see me usually in photo shoots, red carpets, things like that, and just other appearances because it's a lot more dramatic and full and long and all those good things. So I'm gonna just walk you through really honestly how easy it is to blend these pieces with my hair. So here we go. So first, as you can see, my hair is in flexi rods in the front, same way I did in some of my other videos. It was blown our hair on low, but you can also do it wet to dry, and I use the Cream of Nature Foaming Mousse just to set it on a mix of the green and yellow, I'm like I was about to say orange, <laughs> green and yellow flexi rods, and then the back is just cornrows. So nothing fancy. I've seen some people do them in a circle. You can do that. I just get my cousin or trusty friend or anybody that knows how to cornrow because I don't and just braid them down. And I usually do this the longest I've ever kept these and that's when I was really stretching. It was about six weeks. But normally a month is long enough because at that point too the braids will have started to fill in. But what I like about these pieces is that because they are on, you know, the clips are sewn all the way around, you can take it off at night. I can still oil my scalp and my ends and do all of that. If I want to steam, I can actually sit under the steam and let the front of my hair get the steam and the braids get it as well. So it's a great way to have the look of a full sew-in without committing to just that whole situation. And you can change your hair if you need to. So this really came out of a need for me to protect my hair but also keep my look consistent with the curls but try to fight off damage because whenever you have to show up on different sets and different people have to do your hair, when it wasn't like something that was hair related, this was a way for me to protect my hair. So I'm gonna show you one, um, again, how I take the take these flexi rods out and blend it with my hair. So here we go. So a couple tips. Again, I parted my hair from ear to ear. You want to look at the density of your hair and the density of the piece and make sure that they match and that's going to tell you again how much hair you want to leave out and how much you don't. So for me, because my hair is pretty thick, I need to leave out a little bit more than maybe say the average person to make sure that it blends because what you don't want is the same thing with the sew-in. You have like three or four strands trying to blend in with like all this thick hair. So I'm going to go again with the shorter piece first. So again, clips all the way around the perimeter. This was a custom piece that was made for me with virgin Indian hair. And again, so when I, I want to specify something with the virgin, it's virgin in terms of the color. It hasn't been colored, but the texture has been processed. So this is like kinky curly. You may have also see it as Brazilian. I just knocked something down. You may also hear it called Brazilian. So I'm going to, again, these are the same clips that you would use for clip-ins. And I'm gonna go and start clipping it down. And I clip it at the very top of the braids. And then I just go all the way around. And this hair is sewn on a stretch cap so that it can just to a large head like me or a small. So as you can see, it's already immediately taking shape. Now what I would recommend for you as well is that this piece has been cut and that really is my like hair needs to tip for anybody that's wearing sewing hair, wigs, custom pieces, anything, even clip-ins. You want to get them, you know, customized for you and for your shape so it doesn't just look like a pound of hair just sitting on your head. So as you can see, all I have to do is then go in and I'm separating the same way I separated before. With my flexi bra. Now I've had this piece, just to tell you how long they last, like this piece I've had for, gosh, about two years now, year and a half, and I wore it all through my like 101s for New Atlanta, and everybody was like, why does the hair, you know, look different, or, you know, every time you saw like our confessionals, and the thing was is that we were doing those confessionals over the course of about maybe five or six months, so I had to find a way for my hair to one, look consistent, and also kind of protect it, because my hair was getting beat from all the styling on the show. 
So this is a great, great way for that. So now this one, like I said, this piece has gotten a little old and the hair is a little beat down, but I still co-wash it and use the Denman, you know, to freshen it up, which is probably time for, but you know, just like I said, you guys can kind of get the idea. So I just go in and the key is like, I don't like my hair. It was, a, somebody was talking about this on Twitter one night about like Lisa Bonet and her weaves. And I was like, yes, Lisa taught me. I love a good messy weave hair situation because to me, the messier or the, you know, or just, just the fuzzier or however it is to me, like the more natural it is. And then you can also go in to define this more with a small barrel curling iron or a wand. I have, man, about a week or so ago, I went in and added some curls to this. You can also, if you want, add in clip-ins. Because this piece, again, is older, it has definitely lost some density, because again, I've had it for about a year and a half. So if I say if I was going out-out, I could add in a clip-in here for fullness and things like that. But since, again, since I just kind of use this for running around and such, then I don't really do that, so. Back. And again, the whole point is just making sure along the top that you have coverage and the hair is blended. I tend to like the flexi rods for blending my hair because I just think I like that curl and it's easy to go in with a curling iron on this hair rather than my own hair and blend it. And again, you can just keep playing with it, fluffing it. If you want to do a full bang, you can do that. You want to do it kind of over to the side which i tend to like a little bit of a side part you can do that as well but this is option a and so again so this is option a i'm going to now show you the diva one my diana ross piece that i love 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 so this again is more my go-to day to day but i'm going to show you now the second piece so again you can see how easy it is to take it off unclip now again, you want to be careful that you're not like snatching it off and being delicate because again, you're still protecting the goal here to protect your hair. So that's piece A. Now for, it's almost like I can wear her like one of my purse. <laughs> okay, so again, this is my drama piece and the one that you guys probably see me in the most. So same thing going in, clipping it down. Now I've had this piece for about a year and it's held up amazing. Um, I've gotten it shaped a little more and more as time goes on just to account for, you know, any hair just shedding and things like that. Every so often I go in and same thing, I co-wash it um, and do it with a dimming brush. Go in clip down so again I'm just clipping down all the way around and I'm also careful in the back that I'm not grabbing onto the quote unquote well it's definitely not baby hair but <laughs> the little hair in the back okay so you guys know her so again what's great about this is that I just pop it on blend the hair in and again, I'm growing out my heat damage in the front, so this is a great way to do that. You see, this is the hair I'm blending in. You can go in and add more curls and make this hair tighter. Um, I do play around with styles sometimes with this where, hold on. As this front gets a little older, you know, you can do little side things, and I sometimes will go over to the side and do all kind of little stuff. But mainly, I just like it big and wild. And you can see this piece is much longer, gives a lot more drama, and it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So, as I said, this is my signature style, my custom Indian hair pieces. This one I actually rinsed with a um, kind of an off black because it was really reddish brown, almost like a two, and I'm definitely more of like a one, one D, just naturally my hair is pretty dark. So again, you can always customize, my thing for everybody is customize. Don't just feel like the same way you're not taking clothes off the rack, you don't have to take your hair off the rack either, honey. Like get it trimmed, get it colored, you know, do whatever you need to do to make it feel like you and look like you, and that's 
where you're gonna win because when I tell you these pieces have saved my life. Now, it definitely is an investment piece. A lot of times I'm gonna give you your good diva on, a, diva on a dime options, but this is something you're gonna have to invest in if you want a good piece that's going to last. Quality Indian hair for say something like this with this length, I think this was 18 and 22 inches that's been cut. This will probably run you anywhere from 250 and up for the hair itself. And then you want to find someone that's reputable, a reputable, reputable stylist to actually make the piece for you. Um, two people that I recommend, Angela Johnson out of Atlanta made this piece for me. And then also my love, Rico, who you saw with me on the new Atlanta, who is an amazing stylist and also just all around guru of all things fabulous is teaching classes for stylists around the country of how to make these pieces and other amazing pieces on a sewing machine for stylists. So look him up. Um, I wanna say his classes are called RIP ext ex um, Extension Classes and I'll have this info like somewhere below here. But again, you can reach out to either of them to get a piece like this made or just kind of research a stylist in your area. You would be surprised. So these are my go-to glam in two seconds pieces my signature style custom Indian hair pieces i do have one more that has color but because these curls are a lot really tight and that piece they hair is a little more wavy i'm not going to show you that today because i'm again i'm trying to save the heat off of this hair so i can get myself back to normal but what i will do is post some pictures so you can see how that one was styled as well because i've worn that recently and it's just, um angela went in and highlighted it she made it and she highlighted it with like honey blonde and things like that so I hope you guys enjoy and this is my Donna Summer Solange Diana Ross homage piece that I love so this is my easy how to if you have any questions again please subscribe thank you for watching and I will answer whatever you guys need love you